the very first reason why I feel like the ninth year anniversary will be indubitably the best anniversary of all time is the simple fact that we have already gotten most of, if not all, of the major Dragon Ball characters already in Dokkan. Which means that it's not no longer obvious what we're going to get for the ninth year anniversary. Remember that <clears throat> there are some celebrations, like, worldwide. Oh, also, by the way, if I'm, if I'm short of breath or wheezing, coughing, asthma and allergies, terrible combination. Speaking of, really quick, if you do have asthma and allergies, then you know what the, you know, the pain is like. So you can skip today's push-up and subscriber challenge. But if you don't have asthma and allergies, consider yourself lucky. And you got to drop down, give me 15 push-ups as well as subscribe to the channel. Let's move on with the video. Anyway, so again, the simple fact that we have almost every major release already in the game makes the ninth year anniversary that much more exciting because we don't know what it's going to be. I think we can all agree that since when we have really no idea what's coming, the creativity in the community, the what ifs, I think everything, the, the build up just becomes that much more exciting. Remember, there are some celebrations where we just know what's coming. Remember during, I think it was the sixth year anniversary or to the build up of it, I feel like we all knew UI Goku was coming. And I don't know why. I'm not sure if there was like some leaks. I don't really remember, but I remember knowing that, oh yeah, it was so obvious UI Goku's coming, right? Or it's so obvious X, Y, and Z character is coming. But now, we have almost everything in the game. So the question is, <clears throat> we, like, not the question is, but we really have absolutely no idea, which I think evens the entire playing field and makes just thinking about the anniversary that much more exciting. And I think we can all agree that not knowing what's coming or everyone entering the anniversary with a lot of anticipation all of that just bleeds into the entire anniversary as a whole and makes it that much more enjoyable, which is, again, one reason why I think this anniversary will be the best. <clears throat> Another reason is highlighted by this blue Goku and Vegeta in the Dokkan original animations we can see here. Now, so to basically to, to further my point, it doesn't really matter what Dokkan releases, right? During, let me actually pull up a different character here. Let me pull up Legendary Power. So it doesn't really matter what we get for the ninth year anniversary because I know one complaint we've had for a while is, oh, another Go Super Gogeta? How many Soul Breakers, right? Or whatever the name of the Soul Punisher, or whatever the name of the move Super Gogeta uses in Fusion Reborn. How many, how many times are we gonna see that animated, right? And I agree. When we get a character, when, we, when we're getting another character that we've seen the move of so many times, it definitely takes away from the hype People play this game just to summon for those animations, right? People play the game just to see the animations carry Dokkan in a large respect, right? So having Dokkan original animations makes each release exciting because no longer are we like, oh, Super Gogeta, Soul Breaker, Soul Punisher. Okay, it is what it is. No, it's Super Gogeta. I wonder what animations are going to use this time, right? So it keeps everything fresh. So not knowing what we're getting for the anniversary on top of Dokkan original animations, like the units that we're gonna be seeing this year, I think it's just, it just already excites me. Another one, uh, let me pull this up here. Another reason why this anniversary will definitely be the best. <clears throat> now, again, there's, not, there's no guarantee because we don't know what's coming, but this character makes literally everything possible. You have to understand how important this character is to the game, dude. Anything is possible. This, if you were to ever tell anyone, hey, in 2023, there's going to be an LR, a tech LR, okay, that has Super Saiyan Trunks and Broly has the main cards with Paragus, Nappa, Raditz, Piccolo, Tien, Chaozu, Chaozu, sorry, Yamcha in the background. Everyone would call you dumb. That is the craziest combination of uh, characters I've ever seen in one card. It's insane, but it exists. So anything is possible during the ninth year. We don't have to follow any specific script, any specific saga. Dokkan Originals, baby. And this is further backed up by what's recently going on with uh, Legends. It seems like Legends will be getting some sort of Legends Originals character, Goku and Bardock. 
Again, this looks like Goku for sure. This looks like Bardock with the little bandana coming off, right? So, if they do this, and Leg again, Legends and Dokkan definitely do have a similar release. I don't want to call it schedule, but there's a lot of times where Legends will release something, and then Dokkan releases something very similar to it, or vice versa. So, for example, two years ago, for the Legends Festival, they got a Blue Goku and Blue Vegeta, like a tag Blue Goku, Blue Vegeta, right, from the Broly movie. And what was the anniversary character for Dokkan's seventh year? It was God Goku and God of Vegeta who or transformed into Blue Goku and Blue Vegeta, right? So the fact that Legends is getting something like this for the festival, like Do it, again, it's not confirmed, but it very it seems like it. If we're getting if they're getting this, a Do a Legends original character, could Dokkan really get a Dokkan Originals character for the anniversary? Was this just a test to see how people were gonna be I guess rating this or how excited they were for this definitely possible so when you add all these th three things together right potential or just a simple fact that we don't know what is coming and whatever's coming could just be completely custom which makes it that much more random and that much more exciting on top of top tier unique never seen before animations if that's not a recipe for a great you know and of course we need content right we need good free-to-play characters we need all of that and that of course is what makes a great uh, celebration but the new units carry big celebrations by like 90 percent. i'd agree right if the units suck people are not going to enjoy the celebration so we need them to carry on this and the last one i'm going to quickly make is these teasers legends does a great job an amazing job doing teasers uh for every release i mean that's not every release i think they're mostly for like free-to-play characters or banner units but regardless Legends doing leaks brings the community together, right? And people speculate. It's also great for content creators. And Dokkan recently did one. And people are speculating like crazy. And it's just fun to see this. It makes everything more exciting. So if Dokkan is willing to do this for a December Android 21 celebration, why not for the anniversary? So add all this up, right? Teasers which brings the entire community together, gets people to download the game, talking about the game, gets the overall excitement up, not knowing what the heck is coming out. And also keeping in, you know, keeping in mind of whatever could come out could be a Dokkan Originals thing. And no matter what character drops is unique animations. Like this is, this year has been so, I think, great for Dokkan in the sense of Dokkan Original Animations, completely, you know, random cards that we could see it, it i think it really has opened up the gates for what dokkan could do and the ninth year anniversary seems like the perfect poss uh, opportunity to i guess put all these things together and create the craziest celebration we've ever seen so let me know what you want to see for the ninth i'll see you in the next one take care and peace